thing any Austrian has ever done to anyone. <laughs> Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, everyone else. Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm going to put a stop to that. So, this is the year where I finally started feeling old. Because I remember a time when women's clothes had pockets and the world wasn't on fire. I mean, what the fuck happened? What, 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 2016, what the fuck is going on? Seriously. Like, when I, when I was a kid, I never wanted to listen to the news because I was like, oh my god, this is so boring. The news is so boring. Make it more interesting. Make it more interesting. This is not what I had in mind, okay? There's supposed to be an ancient Chinese curse, which is probably bullshit, but it's an ancient Chinese curse, and it's may you live in interesting times. <laughs> Who has pissed off the Chinese this much? <laughs> and can you please stop pissing off the Chinese, because times are interesting enough now. Times can now please stop being interesting and go back to being boring. I think I prefer them boring. I mean, it's, it's like we've somehow slipped into a dystopian alternate reality, you know, like in the TV show Sliders, but we're not the heroes, we're the background that the heroes have to escape from. Yeah, Sliders, the 90s, I did say I'm old. <laughs> But anyway, that's the only reasonable explanation I can think of, is that we're living in some sort of dystopia, and somewhere, somewhere there is a parallel universe where everything is fine. You know, where there is peace in the Middle East, and all these actors and musicians are still alive, and all the Nazis have buggered off to the moon or something, and the UK isn't trying to reinvent itself following the North Korean model, and the USA is not in the grip of an orange toma uh, tomato? Orange tomato? No. Potato. That's the word that I was going to use. Anyway. I mean, if you just, just look at the, what is going on in the US. You have, you have a competent politician who knows her shit and who has to go up against the YouTube comment section. And, and I love that you all know who I'm talking about, even though I'm not going to say his name, because he's turned his name into a brand, and every time you mention it, he gets stronger. He's like Voldemort. <laughs> it's like, he's, he's like, all the misogyny and the, and the racism and the Islamophobia and the queerphobia and all the stuff that ends in ism and phobia, which is just thinly veiled hatred, has been rolled up into this giant pile of maggots that's just masquerading as a human being. It's insane. And yeah, I know there are a lot of people like, oh yeah, but you know his supporters are crazy. You have to be crazy to support this guy. Yeah, they're all crazy. They're not fucking crazy. They're just vile. They're just vile, hate-mongering dipshits. Stop conflating mental illness with being evil. There are people who are perfectly lovable and caring. I don't know why I'm pointing at myself. <laughs> there are people who are perfectly nice and lovable, despite being completely batshit crazy. Oh, wait, that's why I was pointing at myself. Um, and they're like, you know, it's, it's, everyone is mentally ill in some way. But it's kind of interesting how every time you have, like, a white... Um, homicidal maniac or rapist or something and then he's always oh no he's mentally ill it's a lone wolf it's a single occurrence he just wanted to be a really good swimmer and every time you have a brown homicidal maniac he's a terrorist yeah that's, that's wonderful because white people can't be terrorists <laughs> oh yeah that's the thing that I brought with me in case my brain just goes bye see you I'm over there which it just did. Oh yeah, right. So every time all the bigots and racists need support, they try becoming really moral, except they're kind of shit at it. Because they're always going on like, oh yeah, with all the refugees coming in. No, no, wait. They're not saying refugees, because that would be admitting that these people have nowhere to go. They say migrants, because lies. And, uh, and they're like, yeah, with all these migrants coming over here, yeah, they're going to rape, and they're going to rape our women. And what are our women going to do? It's like, yeah, uh, what do you mean, our women? 
but do you, what, what the fuck, what? It's so nice that they're like reducing 50% of the population to the status of a possession that needs to be protected at all costs from these foreigners and not asking if you know anyone needs protection from foreigners because foreigners are kind of cool. But, um, and, and it's the same with our homeless people. Every time we try to find housing for refugees, suddenly everyone's going, oh, but we don't even have housing for our, for our homeless people. What are we going to do about our homeless people? And it's like, geez, man, you're such a saint. Where were you all these years ago when we've had homeless people and no refugee crisis? Oh, wait, you didn't give a shit. So, yeah, that's the state of the world. Um, completely different topic. There is um, currently Asexual Awareness Week going on. Just in case you don't know, sexual orientations, you can be uh, homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, or asexual, which means you're just not attracted to anyone and you just rather read a book and drink tea. <laughs> and this is what Asexual Awareness Week is about. And I was wondering, because it says awareness, is that, does that mean that all the asexuals suddenly get really fucking aware of everything? And you know, and you have average Jane just going on about her business and on the stroke of midnight of Asexual Awareness Week, she's just like, <sighs> We live in a computer simulation, reality is not real, there is no spoon, and the cake is a lie. Oh my god, I'm an asexual, now everything makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, if you, if you like, want to be with a person and they're like, oh, I love you, but I don't want to fuck you, then they're probably asexual. <laughs> or you're just really gross. It's either one of these two things. Thank you very much. Good night. Keep it going, Thank you.